Hey everybody, welcome back to Full Watch 2020. I'm Sherry Shavinsky with the Murray County Extension Office. Thanks for tuning in for another exciting episode. So, Wow has just come off uh, week five in her 10 week countdown to her late May falling date. So that means we're at day 313 and we have approximately about 24 days to go if I have her date picked correctly. If you've been watching every week and keeping track, you're probably wondering what happened to week six. Well, I'm sorry we had some scheduling conflicts and so we had to take number six off. So if you're looking for it, it's not there. So sorry, we're trying to make up for it today. So today we thought we'd talk about how do we know if our mare's going to have a filly or a colt. Well, first of all, let's talk about some horse terminology, okay? What is a colt? What is a filly? What's a yearling? What's a foal? Okay, let's discuss those and so that you know what each one means. Uh, that's something that's very important in the horse world. If you're going to have horses and, and uh, work with people in the horse world, you need to know the proper terminology. So a colt is a young male horse and a filly is a young female horse. Okay, and all horses are, no are known as foals up until the first year of age. From there then they become yearlings for that first year and then they become a two-year-old, three-year-old, etc. until they hit age five and then they're considered a mature horse. And a filly then transitions to be known as a mare and a colt is then referred to as a stud or a stallion. Now he may have been gilded sometime in those years before that fifth year and if so then he's referred to as a gilding okay so a gilding is a castrated male horse alright not every stud is want to be kept as a stallion uh, stallions take a special hand uh, to handle take care of you have to have your right facilities for that and it's just not for everybody so a lot of horses Male horses then are gilded, so they make a nice, good, trustworthy mount for you down the road. Okay? All right, so determining whether or not the mare is going to have a colt or a filly, how do we, how do, we do that? So let's talk for just a second about chromosomes. Horses have 32 pairs of chromosomes, okay? One pair doesn't match, and that's the, the sex chromosomes, okay, that determines the sex of the horse. Okay, they have, a mare has two X's and a stallion has an X and a Y. So that means that the stallion has an XY genotype and the mare has an XX genotype. And both of those are shown by small letters. So that tells us when we look at it that neither one of those chromosomes are dominant or recessive. So we have a 50-50 chance that our mare is going to have a colt or she's going to have a filly. Okay, the medical or scientific way to tell for sure what that mare is going to have, just like humans, we can go in and we can have an ultrasound done on our mare. Uh, we always have an ultrasound done very early in the pregnancy so that we can make sure that she truly is in foal, that we know that there is a fetus there. But uh, you can go back at a later point and have her ultrasound again to tell whether or not it is a colt or a filly. And you can't do that until about day 80. And that's when you can get a view uh, that's going to tell you that. Um, she's too far along now at this point to be able to do that. She's too big. The foal's too big. There's just not enough room to be able to go in there and see too many things that obstruct the view. So we're just going to have to take our luck and see what we have. There are a couple of old wives tales that we can do and we're going to do them here just for fun to share with you and that is to guess what Wow is going to have. One of those old wives tale is to look at the bulge in her belly. So Hannah's just going to go around here and look, she's going to get a good shot from her from the front and then she's going to go around and get one from the back. And whichever side, let me stand her up here, Hannah, so she's, wow, she's getting tired. She's ready for a nap here. And we look at her from the back. And if we can determine which side the bulge is more dominant on. 
Now the old wives' tale says that if the bulge is dominant on the left, it's going to be a colt. Okay? If it's dominant on the right, it's going to be a filly. It's dominant on the left. So Hannah thinks it looks dominant on the left. What do you guys think? Okay, and there's another little test that we can do just for fun, and it's called the string test. And I was taught this a long time ago by a great lady and who used to live at the White Horse Ranch in Napier, Nebraska. They used to do this for fun on their mares, and it's kind of fun to do. Whether or not it's true, we'll find out in this case with wow so we're just going to take an ordinary string with an ordinary key and i don't know hannah you might have to come in a little bit closer to show this a little bit better and we're just going to take the key on the string and we're just going to hold it above wow and hopefully we can get her to stand here and get my hand to hold still enough and we don't get any breeze off of it. And we're gonna see if the key moves in which direction it moves in. She keeps kind of wanting to shift a little bit here. She's pushing on me. Back and forth. So the theory is if the key moves back and forth, it's a colt. And if it goes in a circle, it's a filly. Well, I was getting a little bit restless here, so she's wanting to move, and she's uncomfortable. That's back and forth. But it looks to me like when we tested it, um, tested it earlier, we got a, a lot of back and forth motion. So both things kind of indicate that it looks like it might be a little stud cold. We'll see. Um, as I said, if you remember, I think it was probably in the first video that we shot, uh, I did make the comment that WOW has acted a little bit different through this pregnancy than she did the first one. And in her first pregnancy, she, she did deliver us a nice little filly. Uh, so everything's indicating maybe that it might be a cold. We'll find out, so who knows. So what have we done for a while over the last couple of weeks? Well, one of the things that was important, I wanted to get her vaccinated. Um, we needed to get that done at least four to six weeks before the delivery. And the main thing that we wanted in that vaccination was a tetanus shot, okay? So that if there is anything, we tetanus comes from the soil, so we didn't want anything to be passed on to her foal when it's born. We also vaccinated her for West Nile and Eastern and Western sleeping sickness. We don't vaccinate for flu or rhino at this time because those vaccinations can cause abortion in mares. So we don't wanna take that risk. Those will have to wait till after the foal is born. She is still getting six pounds of feed per day. She is eating it much, much slower now. Uh, just a lot of it, I think, is because she's just full. You know, there's more baby in there. It's putting pressure against her stomach and stuff, so she takes her time to eat. So we, she goes into her stall, so she has plenty of time to eat her feed and not be rushed by the other mares. Okay. Um, we also could possibly be seeing some changes in her vulva at this time because she is getting down towards the tail end of her pregnancy and her body's getting ready to deliver that. Today, we're going to see, we did weigh her already and she weighed in at 1,440 pounds. So that's only a two pound difference uh, from the last time that we weighed her. She weighed in at 1,438. So at this point the foal is pretty much basically done. It's it's about ready to be born. There's really no more development that's going on. So um, she shouldn't probably be gaining too much more at this point. And like I said, in the, uh, I think it was, was it last week or the last video that she's, that foal is going to be about 100 pounds when it's born. All right. So let's see what we got here. And she'll stand for me. I don't know. Wow, that's a 
long way to reach. <laughs> Anna, where are you at with the camera? Okay, do we look like we're in about the right spot? Maybe just back a little bit. So it's kind of hard to know if I'm in the right spot from the time before. So we're looking right. Ah. Keeps wanting to pull on me. So probably about 95 inches, you think? Right? So that's in like an inch more than the last time we measured her. Hey. Um, if you remember in the last video that we did, we talked about some horses that had a tie to Nebraska. Um, have you had a chance to research into that a little bit? If not, go back and look at the previous video and look up those horses and leave some comments um, down on our YouTube page here. And eventually, I'm going to come back with another video to give you the answer to that and the tie-ins of those horses. So um, I hope you enjoyed this episode and we'll see you all next time. Have a great week.